You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here with some things to share about Jonathan Jackson's upcoming return as Lucky Spencer. You know, he's been gone a minute. He came back in 2015 for just a couple of episodes to return Not Dead, Jake Weber to Liz, and then he left Port Charles again. So he has missed out on a lot. And there are some things he needs to do as soon as he's back. So please subscribe if you have not, because now we're going to dive into five Five huge things Lucky needs to get on top of ASAP. The first thing he needs to do clearly is catch up with Elizabeth Weber. She's single. And of course, this triggers the question, will they renew their romance? I know a lot of fans are hoping to see Liz with Jason and Liz's relationship with Lucky was problematic. There's no denying that. So there's a lot of fans split on whether they want to see Lucky with Liz or don't want him anywhere near her. Lucky was the first addict that Liz had to deal with. If you don't remember, I think he was shot when he was a cop and then that's when he got hooked on pain pills and then he started banging Maxie who was enabling his addiction by stealing drugs for him. I think she was maybe a candy striper at the hospital. That's that's history, you know. And in the past, at least, Lucky has not been a healthy choice for Elizabeth. Some fans on soap social media are commenting about him being a jerk to Liz, about him calling her a whore. You know, nice, classy stuff like that. But back Back in 2015, when Lucky came back to drop off Jake, he did tell Luke that he felt like he had a darkness in him. And maybe he's finally worked through those issues and he could be a good partner for Liz. Or maybe he's worked through the issues and they can evolve into a really solid friendship, co-parenting thing. You know, once he gives her a long overdue, deep and sincere thank you for raising Aiden and also Jake, who he's the legal dad of, but not the biological dad of, while he bailed and went off and ran around and did what he wanted wanted. The second thing I want to see is Lucky spending time bonding with his biological son, Aiden Spencer, and his legal, but not his biological son, Jake Weber. I did see... (laughs) A funny meme on Twitter. I I literally laughed out loud. And it was about Lucky and Jason running into each other at the deadbeat dad potluck dinner. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, There's some truth to that. You know, Jason's been gone the last few years because of that Carly FBI leverage. But Lucky has been gone much longer. And because he chose to be gone, no one was making him be gone. And the last time he was around really bothered me when he was around for more than one episode was GH, for some insane reason, decided to resurrect Jake Weber from the dead. Jake's death was this great, tragic storyline back then. And they just unraveled it for reasons that I don't think justify it, you know. So Aiden is definitely Lucky's kids. Remember, Aiden is gay. He's an aspiring chef. And hopefully Lucky will bond with him in a sensitive and meaningful way. And with Jake, no big fan of Jason right now, Lucky could step in and either be a dad to him again too, or encourage him to smooth things over with his biological dad. Next on my list, Lucky needs to find out about Cyrus being his uncle and that he's the one who put his sister into a coma that needs to come out right away and I I want to see Lucky shocked about this so since Lucky has been gone you know his family's gone through some changes family members were added some were lost so first let's talk about the additions Lucky has two new uncles Uncle Cyrus and Uncle Marty one is fine and the other's you know, a maybe reformed psycho. And along with finding out Cyrus is his uncle, which no doubt, you know, Cyrus will probably want him to call him Uncle Cyrus, you know, they'll have a conversation, they should have a conversation about Cyrus being the reason that Lucky's dear sister, Lulu Spencer, remains in a coma in case you've forgotten why she's still off screen. Cyrus blackmailed Julian Jerome into placing a backpack bomb at the floating rib. It blew up, nearly killed Lulu, actually killed her boyfriend. I can't remember if they were engaged or not, boyfriend or fiance, either way. And Lulu remains comatose as a result of this. Plus, 
Lucky actually has a new brother because his mom adopted baby Ace Cassidine. So Lucky needs to meet his new brother. And I'm sure he'll also have to hear about Ace's crazy mom, Esme Prince, Heather Weber's daughter. And Lucky obviously will hear more about his brother Nicholas Cassidine's prison stint. And I do hope we get more Adam Huss scenes so he gets to see Lucky. I think that'd be cool. All right. The fourth thing, I think we need to see Lucky grieving on screen for the death of his father, Luke, and his aunt Bobby Spencer and his nephew Spencer Cassidine. So along with the additions to his family, Lucky will likely discuss some losses that we've never seen him discuss on screen. And you know, his the death of his father a couple of years ago, thanks to Victor Cassidine is a big one. You know, Lucky is Luke's namesake son. They had a Luke was in and out of his life. There was some volatility and all that. But by the time of Luke's death, as far as I know, Luke and Lucky were on good terms, but he did not come back for the Haunted Star Memorial. And, you know, there were other people there, other surprises there, but Lucky was not. And then, of course, Lucky knows exactly who Spencer Castadine is, and we'll hear that Spencer died and that part of that was Esme's fault. And then tied into that is the kid that Laura has adopted. And of course, I want Lucky to go to see Bobby's Diner to see, you know, that it's been renamed for his aunt, all that good stuff. I want to see him in there, you know, getting a BLT and I want to see him talking about how much he misses them, maybe heading over to the cemetery, all that good stuff. Fifth and final, I would like to see Lucky talk some sense to his mom, Laura, about the Heather Weber case, about Cyrus, other things. So in addition to finding out that Laura Collins adopted a baby and let an allegedly reformed murderous psycho drug dealer into her life, there's the fact that she is advocating for a serial killer. I have no doubt that Lucky knows exactly who Heather Weber is because she's been creating chaos in Port Charles since 1976, way before that hip replacement, mind you. Heather's been a card-carrying psycho for years, and yet Mayor Laura thinks she deserves to get another stab at justice for the hook killings, no pun intended. The citizens are all getting all riled up after that Invader article about Laura accessing case files to get Heather's conviction reviewed. You know, Heather didn't even ask for this, so I I wonder if Lucky might be able to talk some sense to his mom about not ruining her mayoral career and legacy by going down this road. We'll see. Lucky and Laura haven't always seen eye to eye, and he has said some terrible things to her in the past, some terrible things to Liz as well. I'm hoping with that we're going to get a much more evolved and emotionally mature mother-son relationship this time around and co-parenting relationship with Liz. The thing is, though, Lucky's been gone so long that I wonder if we're about to get a significant rewrite of this character to clean up a lot of sins of this past. Is he going to be Lucky Spencer in name only? You know, this new head writing team doesn't seem to mind changing history radically to fit what they want. They do retcons all over the place. So who even knows what version of Lucky we're going to get or possibly a whole new version. But these are still things that no matter who he is when he gets back that I think he needs to do when he returns. Let me know what else you want to see Lucky do when John Jackson is back to General Hospital. Drop your comments. If you're not already following us, please click subscribe if you are. You rock and come back soon. We are here talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 